Hey there, um, I am Christian Estorano, a fourth year electrical engineering student of the Notre Dame of the Diangas University and I will teach you how to make a simple AM transmitter. So let's get started. And here are the components of our circuit. A 1 mega ohm resistor, 1 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, Two pieces of one kilo ohm resistor, a 150 microhenry inductor, 100 nanofarad capacitor, two pieces of 220 picofarad capacitor, a 150 picofarad capacitor, two pieces of transistor of 2N3904, and a 100 kilo ohm resistor. Here are some additional materials that we will need. Microphone, PCB circuit board, battery strap, 9 volts battery, male-to-male -male jumper wires, and switch. The circuit that I have shown you earlier is the circuit that we will follow. The first thing we will do is to solder the components into the PCB. So, let's do it! So here is our finished circuit after we have soldered everything in the PCB. This is what it looks like. We added a 220 microfarad capacitor connected in series with the negative polarity of the microphone so that our microphone will be loud and clear. This capacitor is polarized so the positive side of it is connected with the negative terminal of the of the microphone and then its negative terminal is connected with the emitter of this transistor. The positive terminal of the microphone is connected in the base of this transistor. Now, this is a 1 mega ohm resistor. Its one leg is connected on the emitter side of the transistor and the one leg is on the base of the transistor. This is a 100 picofarad capacitor. Its one leg is connected in series with the 1 mega ohm and 4.7 kilo ohm resistors connected in series in the emitter of this transistor. Its one leg again is connected with the 1 kilo ohm resistor here. And then after that, this 220 picofarad capacitor here, the 150 microhenry inductor here and the 100 kilo ohm resistor here are all connected in series with the 1 kilo ohm resistor. After that, the one leg of the inductor is connected on the base of this transistor. By the way, all of these transistors are 2N3904. So you can search in the internet the pin configuration of these transistors. So, continuing with our circuit, the one leg of the inductor is connected in the base of this transistor. Along with it is another 220 picofarad capacitor. The one leg of this capacitor is connected in series with the other capacitor above. And then, this 100 kilo ohm resistor here is connected in series with the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor here. And then finally, we all connect it in the emitter or I mean the collector side of this transistor. You connect the 1 kilo ohm here in the 
leg of this capacitor and then you connect a or you will have a connection with the emitter side here to this one kilo ohm resistor and along with it connected in series with the one kilo ohm resistor is a 150 picofarad capacitor here and then after that you connect your antenna which is this to finish everything you connect this one kilo ohm resistor to the emitter side of this transistor and then you add the connections of your source the negative one should be here in the one kilo ohm resistor in the bottom and then the positive side should be here in the 100 kilo ohm resistor and then you connect the switch so after we have done soldering everything on the PCB, we will try to find the frequency of our transmitter using an AM radio. Hello? 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 This is a bus. Hello? Hello? This is a bus. Hello? Hello? So after confirming that our AM transmitter transmits signal, we will now put it in our container and we will secure it and after that, we're done. So this is um, our container for our AM transmitter. This is an old casing of my phone. Um, as you can see, um, I made a hole here for our microphone and then we will add another hole here or here for our switch and then this side will be where our antenna will go out um, if you open this it looks like this the reason why we cut or trimmed our PCB earlier so that it will fit perfectly in our container and then we will secure the PCB inside so that it will not move also the battery so your antenna will supposed to be here and then our switch will be right here or here and then our microphone will be here So after securing our PCB circuit board, this is what it looks like. I added an LED to indicate whether our circuit is turned off or turned on. And also, I connected the antenna here in front of our container. And if you put the cup, it will look like this. The circuit will or the switch will come out here the microphone here and the LED light here so all we have to do is put the cover and make some adjustments and that's it
Basically, that is how you make a simple AM transmitter. Thank you for watching my video. This is part of our project and principles of communication. And once again, this is Christian S. Durano, a fourth year electrical engineering student of Notre Dame of the Diangas University, greeting you a good day. Thank you.